it's time for another spooky video. Today, what we have is a super huge, giant Halloweeny haul full of dolly dolly goodness. This is a ginormous Halloween haul from five different stores. I've got stuff here from Dollar Tree, as you can see there, and Menards. Plus, in this bag, there's a few things from Walmart and Target. And then off to the side, I have bigger stuff that I couldn't fit all in the filming area from Myers and a bunch more stuff from Dollar Tree. I've got four or five bags of stuff from Dollar Tree. So without any more talking, we're gonna get on into this spooky haul. Y'all know the drill. We're gonna take these bags, move them out of the way and just pick from them at random and show you all the Dolly spooky goodness I got. Uh, yay! First, I'm gonna show you what I got from Meyer because I only got one thing from there and it's huge. Brrr, spooky, hoo, ha ha ha. I got this giant Hello Kitty, what kitty for Halloween costume. Isn't it cute? It was on sale. It's one of the like doorway sitters. What is this called? Halloween greeter is what it says on the tag here. It's super cute. There is the barcode if you want to try and find it somewhere in your area. Look at the cute little Hello Kitty tag there. It's adorbs. I just couldn't resist it. It's so stinking cute. This was a Halloween present from my mom. You know, a spoiler present because we were there and it was on sale. It was regularly like 30 some odd dollars and we got it for 18. So I thought it was super cute and I couldn't resist it. And usually I say no to this stuff because it's so big, but I just couldn't. So I got this adorable Hello Kitty for my sort of plushy collection. And I know for a fact that not everything is going to fit. So this is your warning if stuff moves around or disappears. That's why. Next, I'm going to get into what I got from Dollar Tree because there's so much and I want to be able to put the big stuff in the background. So that's what we're doing next. First from Dollar Tree. Ooh, look at this. It says Pumpkin Jacks Oddities and Curiosities. Look at how cute this is. I love all the sparkly, sparkly. It's so cute. And all the little sayings and then the little hang danglers here. These are so stinking cute. Ghastly ghosts and ghouls. Look at all the stuff. You can feel free to read it. I'm not going to read it all, but just look at how cute this is. I just love this stuff. These little like signs like this are like my favorite things that they have because they're so cute. And most places have stuff that's not even as nice as this for way more than $1.25. So yay. And next for signs, I got this adorable pumpkin that has the little like raffia wrap kind of tie on the top. It says decor and then here is the barcode if you want to try and get it in your area. Most of this stuff sells out so fast but it says trick or treat and it dangles. It has these cute little hang danglers. This is so cute. It's a bat and it's all sparkly and then there's magic potion here and then there's a spider over here and it says trick or treat. I love the little sparkly gold on the pumpkin face. Super duper cute. And then I got these little lanterns. Now they don't have any batteries in them yet, so I can't light them up for you, but they're super duper cute. I love the little orangey pumpkins and the little boo on this one with the little ghosties. So stinking cute and I love stuff like this for decoration for Halloween. And then I got these two adorable little like wood sign kind of things. You can either hang them or you could put them in like a display on your like counter or something. I love this one. It says, welcome to my fantastic crypt. That's so cute. And then this one says, have a frightfully spooky and enchanting Halloween. I just thought these were both super duper cute. So I had to grab them. And then I grabbed two of these. I thought these were adorable. I got one of the stack of pumpkins I think I showed you in a haul a couple weeks ago. They had these skull faces and I just thought these would be adorable for like yard art for your dollies or in a diorama of some sort. I don't know if they work because they need you to put the batteries in, but even if they don't, I don't really care. They're still super cute. And then I got these. I love these, y'all. I pick some up every single year. This year, this one, which is Guide to Brooms and Wands was super, super cute, so I couldn't resist it. And then this one, Are You a Good Witch or a Bad Witch? I love that because I love Wizard of Oz and I thought that was so super cute. What I usually do is put some of my like dolly stuff in it to keep it so it's not just taking up space, you know, on a shelf somewhere. But they're super duper cute. Look at the bindings. They look like books. They're so super cute. Look at this one. I just love these. So I always have to pick up at least one or two every single year. And this year, these are the two I got. Next, I grabbed this. I don't even know. I just really liked it. I liked how it was painted. It says skull stand. There's the barcode if you want to try and pick one up yourself. They had a bunch of different colorways, but I liked this one. I know it's 
kind of creepy, but for Halloween, I figured it would be cute in a diorama for my dolly, so I just had to grab it, or for just my home for decoration. And then I saw this, this is adorable. I think it's supposed to be a chalkboard, and it's in like a coffin shape. It's the only one they had, so I just had to grab it. I thought it would be super cute, like if you did a store, and this could be their like Halloween board. You know how they have them out in front of stores, and they have like stuff for the season. I just thought that would be cute. You could write down your Halloween specials or whatever if you made a little store for your dolly, so I had to grab it for that. And then I grabbed these simply because I wanted these blue pumpkin ornament things. I just thought they were way too cute not to grab them. They only had like two packs of the blue ones and they had a bunch of different colors. I just thought this was super cute, so had to grab it. Then I couldn't resist these. It's a pack of eight for $1.25. Color your own ornaments. I thought these would be adorable, like if you did your own like yard diorama for your dolls and you could decorate them, you could leave them plain like they are. They have a little raffia down in there. You could make a Halloween tree. You could do so many things with these. I love the little wood cutouts. And when I see a new one that I don't have or that I think is cute, I always grab it because the stuff for the holidays always sells out. And if you see it and you want it, you should always get it when you're dealing with Dollar Tree because it sells out so fast. And then I found these adorable little glass bottles decor things four pieces I think I might have gotten these before but I just can't resist when they're so super cute like this and they're like one six scale esque size so I just had to grab these because I'm probably gonna do like an apothecary one day or something of that sort diorama type thing for my dollies so this will come in handy then I found these adorable rub-on transfers I love this stuff for adding to things and making them a little more special like if you have your own little like window or something in your dolly diorama or if you have like a vase or something any little thing that you can put something on these will go on and these are super cute sometimes you can use them to transfer on to like clothing and stuff too so I wanted to do that I think I said last year I wanted to do that and I didn't yet so maybe one of these years I'll get around to it and have a video with y'all and see if we can put these transfers on little shirts for the dollies and then I found this little eight piece bag of skulls now this stuff can be used for a million different things People use this stuff for decor and whatnot. You can paint them. Definitely gonna paint one pink because I think that would be so funny for like pink -oween, Halloween, pink -oween. That would be so super cute. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these, but I'm definitely gonna do something for the dollies. And then I grabbed these felt stickers. I use these for a million different things, usually for my dolly customs. I made purses out of the egg-shaped ones that I got for Easter time. So who knows what I'll do with these. I made a fascinator hat once and put it on a pin and put it in a doll's hair. I think it was a Monster High doll a couple years ago, but these are so cute and so versatile. I always grab these if they have cute stuff and I just couldn't resist the little kitty there. I thought it was so cute, so I had to grab it and I like if I can get it, all this ASMR. The little pumpkin face too. I think it's absolutely adorable. Then I grabbed these little necklaces. It's a four pack each of necklaces. I thought these were so cute. These are two orange, one purple, and one black in the like pumpkin faces. And then these are little bones and little skulls. And I just thought these were so cute. Now this one has orange, green, purple, and black in this colorway, but they're so cute and stuff like this sells out so stinking fast. You can use it as garland. You can use it as embellishment for your dollies, all kinds of cool stuff you can use this for. So I just had to grab it. Then I grabbed these little tea light candles that look like pumpkins. I thought that these would be adorable to use in a diorama or just use as like scatter or decor for your dollies. I'm I think I'm gonna open these and see if they work. Okay, look, these are adorable and it kind of like flickers. I don't know if you can tell that with my bright lights, but that is so super cute. I love this. I also grabbed these for us. These will be probably for next year. I always grab the new tablecloths for our backdrops because they're just so cute. Like, look at this, rest in pieces. Bon appetit, that is hilarious. I love this one. And then this one has like Frankenstein and the Wolfman and a mummy and a skeleton and a cute little stack of pumpkins there. And then the little ghosty. So I just love these for our like backgrounds and making them cute. So I always grab them when I see new cute ones. And then I grab these adorable fabric quarters. These are so cute. If y'all have been around my channel for longer than a minute, you know I'm a fabricaholic as well as a pinkaholic and a bunnyaholic and all the good things that I'm into. But if you don't know that and you're new, hi, nice to meet you. But these I could not resist, especially this one with the pink, pinky pink pumpkins on it. So cute. I should have got two of these. I don't know why I didn't. Sometimes I just, 
I don't know, like I think, oh, I have so much fabric, I don't need it. But then if I make something out of this and I need extra, they probably won't have it. But I loved these pumpkins. I think they had this one last year, something similar to this. So I only grabbed one. The little skeletons, it's got kind of a little pinkish and purple going on. Thought these were really cute, but these little ghosties are adorable. And I just, in my brain, I see all kinds of like one of a kind outfits. So I always grab cute fabric like this, especially for $1.25. To make things for the dollies because I can always come up with something cool or cute and share it with y'all. I lowered my setup so we could see more stuff and then I got these. Look at these, these are so cute. I love the Harlequin pattern on this. I loved the bats on the white background of this. I make a lot of one of a kind custom outfits out of this ribbon with the wired edge. I don't know why, I just really like it because sometimes it has smaller prints that are perfect for the dolls. And then I just could not resist this adorable little ghosty ribbon here. So cute with the black and white, love, love, love it. So definitely gonna be some cute one of a kinds in the future, maybe not this year, but definitely buy this stuff so I can make stuff for the dollies. And then from the beauty section, I found this pink nail polish. It's probably not very good. It probably will chip off really badly. Sometimes when I get this stuff, it doesn't work very good. Like I can put it on and it's all messed up in a day, but it was pinky pink and it was Halloween-y, so I just had to give it a try. I will let y'all know how it works. Then I grabbed these, same kind of thing. I do my nails for y'all for the videos so they don't look bad. And I thought these would be super cute someday for nail art, so I just had to grab them. And then I scored all these Halloweeny socks. Look at these. There's this Barbie one. I looked all over for these guys. Every time I went to a Dollar Tree, I looked. This one says Barbie, and it's in like a spider webby pattern. This is so cute and pinky pink. And then this one has Sally on it. It's hard to see if you don't like turn them out or you can see the design. Look, it has Sally. How cute is that? And then this one, this one you can see pretty good. This one has Jack and it says, what does it say? The King of Spooky. How cute is that? Love that one. And then I found this other Barbie one. You can't really tell that this one's Barbie so much except for that it says it right up there at the top, but I still grabbed it just cause it's Barbie. And then I found this one, the Betty Boop one. It's not very Halloween-y cause it's just Betty Boop on a orange and black sock, but it says Halloween and I love Betty Boop. So I thought that was cute. And then this, finally, this Jack Skellington one. I love this one. This one's just kind of plain, but I love the graphic. And I always make onesie suits in my one of a kind videos and I show you guys, they're so super cute. I just love making little things, you know, out of these little adorable graphics for the dolly. So I always pick these up when I find them. And like I said, I searched and searched all over. Every Dollar Tree I went into, I looked for the like Halloweeny socks and I found a bunch, so yay. Last from Dollar Tree, probably the only thing I got that was not Halloweeny is these. They had some new little dolly fashion. So I got this one. It's a little like painter or artist type girl. Thought that was super cute. There's a paintbrush. There's like a paint palette. And then this whole little outfit and the little tennis shoes and then there's this firefighter outfit. I just thought this was hilarious with the hat. The hat and the little fire extinguisher there are so super cute. That was enough for me. I just love that. And then I do have plenty of these, but this was in the pink and they're usually in green. So I just had to grab it because I'm a pink girl. So had to get these. And I always say, I know, fashion show. I have so many things. I could probably do 10 fashion shows for y'all, if not more than that, but had to grab these so we can check them out together. Next, I'm gonna show you what I got from Target because I only got two things from there. Here it is, boo, stitchy, ha, I got these. I got two of these little plush stitch. There's six different ones to collect in this collection and they're in little pumpkins. So I'm gonna open one and then save one for later because I'm gonna do a video where I do a bunch of opening of little like blind packs. So we're gonna see what I got in one of these right now. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look at the little ball it comes in. I'm definitely keeping these. These are adorbs. Now, here we go. <gasps> oh, how cute. Cuto, cuto, I love it. It's so cute. Oh, he's in a little pumpkin outfit and he's winking. How adorable. I love me some stitch. Now that does not want to stick up like it should. There we go. Cute little stitchy, ha. Huh? How adorbs. Oh, I love it. The big tag I don't love but other than that love 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 it these are so cute there's no guide nothing else in here but so adorbs and I think they're about four dollars ish for I think it's 4.99 I'm not sure 
when I'm editing the video, I'll try and put it in for y'all, but so cute. Now I'm gonna show you what I got from Wally Mart. I got these adorable little pennant signs. These are so cute. Now I'm gonna take this off cause it's covering it up, but they were in the dollar section in the front of the store, like how Target has the dollar spot, but there it is. How cute is that? It says Boo Crew. And then the other one, soft too, so you can see it better. It says, you've been booed. How cute is that, y'all? I just love these little pennant signs. I grab them almost every year when they have them either at Target or Walmart, just because they're so cute. And I think they're perfect sized for the dollies. I also grabbed this from Walmart. They're 98 cents there. I know they're kind of the same, but not really. They're all a little different. So when I see a new tablecloth for our backgrounds, for a holiday season, I always grab it up if it's a new style that I don't think I already have. So I had to grab this one for our cute background. And then the only other thing I got from Wally Mart is this adorable hair amazing fashion pack. I just, this one was my favorite out of all the ones I saw. So I just had to grab it because I have some of these hair amazing dolls, but I know this will probably fit a bunch of other dolls. And the shoes I believe fit Monster High. I'm not positive. I'm definitely gonna do a try on. I'm gonna put them together and see what I can do for y'all so they don't take so long. Maybe I'll do like one that's from Tamu and then one that's from my Dollar Tree one, stuff like that. So it make it smaller so it won't be so daunting. But this is so cute, love it. There's what it looks like from the back. There's the barcode. These are like $3.97. I think that's totally worth it. You get shoes and a whole outfit and a little hair piece to boot, so yay. Now I'm gonna show you what I got from Menards. First, this isn't really Halloween-y related, but it's totally related for me. This is what I mean when I say that this is my favorite glue. I use this when I make one-of-a-kind custom outfits. It works the best for me, better than the E6000. The E6000 does work but it has kind of a bad smell. This one doesn't smell great, but it smells less bad than the other, if that makes any kind of sense. And it seems to work faster and hold better. If you're doing stuff with fabric and whatnot and you don't wanna like sew on little tiny details, this will do the trick to put your little embellishments on your whatevers for your dollies. And last from Menards, but certainly not least, are these adorable little, they're little like pieces wrapped in garland that are for decoration for your house, but I like to use them for my dollies and I just thought this one was hilarious. Here's the barcode if you have a Menards in your area and wanna try and get it. Now these were like 98 cents on sale. They were more than that, but they were running a sale where they were only 98 cents. So I got this one, the little coffin, so super cute. And then this one, this one was the one that got me. I had to get this kitty. I just thought it was so adorable. You know, like with the googly eyes and the little scared back position. So super cute and they're the perfect size if you want to use them for like yard ornaments for a diorama for your dollies love that idea and then this one the little ghosty i just thought it was super cute and sweet and like i said they're the perfect size and they're not expensive they usually have them at dollar tree but you know that's 25 cents more now so i got these for 98 cents so love 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 that and lastly these are from temu i just wanted to show them to you because i didn't think i'd have another video where i would be doing halloweeny stuff except for you know like a thriftoween so these are halloween related cute little sticker packs most of them were a dollar no more than two so i'm not gonna bother with looking up exactly how much they are to put it in when I'm editing but I just thought these were so cute because I love pink so much look I'm spooky and I like it I'm not going to show them all to you I'm just going to flip and show you whatever comes up happy Halloween that's so cute and they're all pink that's why I picked this pack boo 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 look at those super duper cute love 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 these look at this one with the cat love it trick or treat so many like I could go on forever with these but this is the little pink pack that I picked and then this I couldn't resist Halloweeny stitch can you stand it like I'm a stitch girl I love stitch oh kind of means family I love it I love it I love it here we go this one's so cute he looks like Jack Skellington Look at that one with the little ghosty costume on. Ooh, that one's kind of creepy. <laughs> There's another one like Jack Skellington. There's a lot of Jack Skellington ones here. Let's see. Oh, Stitch Freddy Krueger. Like how funny is that? Oh, Stitch Cheshire Cat. What do we got here? Let me flip some more. Oh, he's the Joker. Stitch is the Joker. These are really nice stickers, by the way. Oh, look at how cute that one is. It's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I. 
I think I know what that is, like Leatherface or something, or Chainsaw Massacre, something like that. Oh, God, there's another Freddy one that fell. <laughs> but like I said, I could go on forever, but I'm not gonna. These are so stinking cute. I think, yeah, I was gonna say, I think that one's Pennywise. I love Stephen King too. If you don't know that about me, now you do. And lastly, for more pink cuteness for Halloween, for pink -oween, I got these little Hello Kitty ones. There's the My Melody. Oh, look how cute. She's Franken Kitty. <laughs> That's adorable. There's just so many. Just look at these. They're so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. And there's the other characters too, not just, you know, Hello Kitty. There's Kuromi there. And then, oh, is this Tuxedo Sam? I'm not sure. Don't get mad at me if I get these wrong, y'all, because I don't know all the names. I think this is Pum Pum Purin. I'm not positive though. But like I said, I could go on forever, but I'm not gonna. Here's the last one we're gonna see. But all these sticker packs, so super cute. Love, love, love these for Halloween. And I have a whole box full of stickers. I love stickers. I love putting them on my little boxes that I use for my dollies, like shoes and things. I've shown them to you before in the past. These are so cute. I love all the pinkness. So that's the last of it for this giant Halloween haul this year. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've been with me to this point in the video, I have to say super huge hugs and love to all the subscribers and watchers out there. Y'all are the best. And I also had to say thank you, thank you, thank you so super much for being with me and for watching. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having a great, 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 spooktacular day. And that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 spooky, pink -o ween subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers out there. I can never say enough just how much it means to me that y'all come along the journey, hit that button, boop, and say you like my dolly silliness and craziness and all the dolly dolly goodness that I get up to. I can never say enough just how much it means to me that you all love the videos, that you want to become part of the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have here, which grows by the day because of y'all lovely, wonderful subscribers out there. So I have to say super huge hugs and love and thank you, thank you so very much for absolutely everything, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, you haven't subscribed yet. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Come and join the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family that we have built here together, which grows by the day because of y'all lovely, wonderful people out there hitting the button and subscribing to come along the journey and see what all Dolly silliness, Dolly loveliness, and general Dolly goodness that I get up to. So if you want to see all the hauls, all the DIYs, all the one of a kinds, all the general Dolly Dolly goodness that we get up to come along and join us because we would love to have you and as I always say and mean in every single way absolutely everyone no matter what you're into is always always welcome here well y'all we did it we made it through this pretty giant dolly goodness pink -oween, awesome great big old haul I hope y'all enjoyed it and y'all know what I'm gonna say happy happy dolling happy dolly day happy boo Spooktacular, Pinkoween, Halloween, and bye y'all!